all right guys so um welcome back to the channel you already know what it is this is gb entertainment here to bring you some entertainment guys and this one here is going to be pretty funny because we have a sheep in uh what do you call it was it a sheep in snake's clothes uh, a wolf in sheep's clothes. No, no. A sheep in wolf's clothes. That's it. A sheep in, wo in wolf's clothes. So he ain't really a wolf. This guy's a sheep. And he's hiding, trying to act like he's a wolf in this manosphere, red pun, uh, you know, group. I don't want to, you know, make fun of it. Because overall, I think it's doing more positive than negative. But when you allow cuck betas like this to infiltrate your manosphere and you guys don't check him on it then you know you're you're gonna lose that edge you have and that word you have as a group so you guys have to x out these individuals and not even give them a light because they're gonna ruin your name very easy just like how a bad cop one bad cop ruins the litter for so many other good ones same concept and this super cuck literally super cuck is out here trying to play super alpha while he's yelling at women for not even knowing but reading something calling him out on his hypocrisy and it's funny because i originally saw this on a youtuber who, told, who basically said it was his uh, subscriber that asked the question because he himself has been getting at Jack Murphy about this cuckery. He essentially wrote an article years back or something like that about how he finds pleasure in having his wife's guts rearranged by some random dude that they pick when they go home and he watches them have sex. He's a cuck. He's like, you know when we just say cuck? Just like, you know, just, right? Just making fun of someone but there's no context towards it. No, he's literally a cuck. And you're going to see it here in this video, guys. So here it is. I'll put a little skip timestamp right to the video and then I'll get to my point. But just watch this cuck in action. Jack and Eli, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Mr. Dick and Bowles says, hey, Jack. <laughs> see, <laughs> that's what she does. She does this. Like she reads it like that's normal. Like it's not even, she's not even just like, I'm not going to skip the name. She just goes, Mr. Dick and Bowles said. Could you please clear up the cuck article you wrote? <laughs> oh. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. I am not going to talk about Again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you me. for bringing this up right here and right now. Me. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of fucking common sense. Sorry, apologies. Yeah. Fuck, uh, you, fuck you. Elizabeth, Heartfelt. Elizabeth uh, Harrison says, "Gonna uh, gonna miss the show, but have a good break." I H T A C. What's that? <coughs> 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 What? Nothing. I'm just guy. I literally was just coughing. It's just an inconvenient cough. Uh, Noah Fox says, Sydney, you're looking just... really great tonight. Thank you very much. Try to think says, Elijah, <laughs> just buy a damn ho house already and quit paying other people's rent. Also, come buy me a drink. I'm in San Antonio for the weekend. Look at that emotional bitch made response, bro. This guy looks like a big old baby. A big old baby trying to put the big old beard. I bet he looks like a little Caillou looking ass when he shaves that beard off. This is the weakest shit I ever saw. Like, he, he, to be honest with you, I can't even say men. Because if he did that to a man, you're getting up and you're getting slapped. I don't care how big you look. You're going to get boxed. I'll throw. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this, this mic. Like, whatever it is, we're duking it out. You don't disrespect people to that degree. He did it because it was a female. You have to understand that. He was coming at a point where, who's this bitch bringing that up? Fuck you. Heartfelt. Fuck you. You little bitch. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> are you serious? You're a little girl. Why would you shout at her like that? Clearly from her reaction, she had no idea. No idea what was going on. And to be honest with you, it's like... You can almost say where he was saying you should have known. No, she shouldn't have known. She's not a mind reader. And that's something a girl would say. That's something your your girlfriend would say. Oh, you should have known. Like we're mind readers. Here are this alpha male who probably is down women for, for having that, you know, that, um, that way of thinking, that thought process, assuming men will just read their minds, is expecting this female to read his mind. The absurdity. The absolute absurdity. So I'm just sitting here thinking, you guys are letting this guy into this manosphere, this red appeal community. He's he's going on shows talking all up his name and, and he's he's a little girl. He's a little girl. Yo, listen, you wrote an article, buddy, about you loving to watch your wife's guts get rearranged, loving your wife to give in that glop glop 3000 in front of you as you freaking wank off. 
That is the lowest of low beta shit you can ever do. That might be gamma, bro. That's 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 you know the the new version of the you know the the nineteen. That that I think is the fifteenth numeral. You're like there or beyond that. It's like I, I'm just so lost for words. Please do not let him, guys. Do not. Do not listen to a word this guy says. Even if he's spitting the truth, anyone could look up something that is unarguably true and then start spouting that rhetoric. Anyone can. But is that individual the right person? Right, right message, wrong messenger. You guys heard the saying before. This guy is absolutely the wrong messenger. Can't control his emotions. Can't own up to his own cuckery. He's a cuck trying to stay in this red pill community. He's probably tricking people to believe cuckery is, is like a red pill vibe. But to be honest with you, he's just hiding the fact that that happened. He wish he never wrote that article because he wrote it when he was younger probably. He regretted it and now he's trying to become this alpha male and it's that stain on your name that's never going to make you have that title. Some some fields you can't jump into if your past is pretty frigged up, right? You really can't become a lawyer after you had a couple of bad charges, right? Maybe it's different in some places, but more often than not, no, you can't become a police officer, right? If you had charges. Certain things you got to have a clean record off the bat and saying you're this manosphere pro guy to teach men to, to guide them how to properly speak with women and be the best man they could be. You can't be a cuck. You can't you <laughs> you can't be a cuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Hang up the towel, hang up the flag, walk the plank, get the fuck off the boat. You you just can't be a part of this crew. I'm not even in this crew, but I'm kicking you out the crew. And I hope you guys will join me on doing this because this was some bitch made shit. I've been watching Sydney for a long time. She's a very nice girl. And this is not the cape for anything like that. But she's one of those chills girls you can actually chill with, play video games. So she seems like one of those chicks. And that's the dynamic they had. So she was blindsided. Look how she was reading the stuff after. And then the other guy, you know, uh, Elijah was like, kind of drinking the coffee. Like, shit, what do I do? He's going to kick my ass. He's pretty big. So I'm just going to. He didn't even defend her, too. That was a little bitch made, too, bro. Because honestly, he was in the wrong. And, and then that guy. Just off the bat, he just kind of comes off as someone who's not necessarily just a, a manly man, right? He's just a dude. He's just a dude. You get what I mean? Because that, like, I, I would have been there, be like, "Yo, you match yourself, like, relax." Like, if I was on the show, and then that, that, that's your host, that's your host. So you just let him just bark at her like that. You're kind of bitch made too. But I'll, I'll leave that off there. This is some super bitchery, if I'm being honest, and that's just my opinion. I'm not here making fun of these guys. They're tough, you know, red pill, right? They can handle it, right? Cuck looking there, bro. You go, you go, you go handle your business with your wife getting handled, all right? Subscribe to the channel, guys. This one just really hit me different. I just, cringy weakness just, just hits different sometimes, but it is what it is. Take it easy.